What's up, FitFam? Welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been about a month or so since I've given you a knee update, so I wanted to hop on here real quick and give you as much information as what I have with about five months post-op, um, give or take a few days. So as you guys know, this is my third knee surgery. My first two were ACL reconstructions, and then this one was a bone graft. Now, I no longer have an ACL in my knee. If you are new here, I am completely without an ACL in my left knee. Now, technically, I am supposed to go back in for the second part of my knee surgery that I just had. So the first half is to remove the ACL, put in the bone graft material, make sure that my knee heals completely, and then go back in later and replace the ACL. I'm choosing to not replace the ACL because chances are I'm probably going to tear it again. So part of the reason why I haven't given you guys much of an update is because I have kind of been in la la land, I guess, is the best way to explain it. I haven't really known what's been going on. I've been kind of playing things by ear. My knee has some weird pain, but then it feels really good. So I've been trying to just train it, um, rehab it, and kind of let it be as is. Not force it to do anything it doesn't want to, but also push it so that it gets stronger and then the size comes back. So within the last month or so, um, that time period of giving it the time that it needs and kind of playing things by ear, I have come to the conclusion that for right now, uh, for the rest of 2021, um, I am going to be taking a step back from Strongman. I don't know if you want to consider it retirement. I know at the end of last year after Strongman Nationals, I said that I was going to retire, but I had already qualified for this year's Nationals. So 2021 Nationals, I qualified for in 2020. And then the whole knee situation happened and I was feeling a lot of pressure to come back quickly. I was led to believe that I could come back quickly and it just is not the case. Um, I have, a tremendous amount of weakness and pain in my knee when I do certain exercises or when I add more weight. I am able to do everything weightless. I have zero pain doing just simple body weight things, very, very light dumbbells like 10 pounds or 15 pound dumbbells. And as long as the weight is on the front of my body, so when I'm standing in the front rack position, such as like a front squat, a clean, um, even like a deadlift, so when I have my hands down in front of me, the weight that is on the front of my body does not cause me any pain whatsoever. As soon as I move the weight to the sides, so if I'm holding dumbbells, I do have a tremendous amount of pain and my knee just is not, is not okay. Um, I'm sure it'll change over time. Um, so that's why I'm saying that I'm just going to step back for the rest of the 2021 season of strongman and I'm not going to compete at nationals and kind of play it by ear. So today is day one of a six to eight week training block getting back into bodybuilding. So the plan going forward, because you guys know that I love to compete, it's what drives me, it's what keeps me motivated. If I didn't compete, I'd probably be lost. So we are going to go back to bodybuilding and we are going to try and put some size on me um, as well as maintain a little bit of the strength. So today I'm very, very excited because it is going to be the very first time that I have back squatted since before surgery. So since March 22nd of this year, it's been a very long five months. I've been patiently waiting. I want to see if I can, if it causes me any pain, if um, my form is screwed up. If you guys remember in my earlier videos, I did have a really hard time and I struggled with my form on my squat, um, just trying to figure things out um, with my knee being fixed. And so I am pumped to finally be able to back squat. It's not going to be anything heavy. It's not going to be anything fantastic, but it is a start. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Stay tuned for tomorrow when I go back to the surgeon and I will fill you guys in as to what he says about my knee and what I can expect moving forward. So let's go ahead and jump in.
first set of back squats. We did just the bar only. I'm going to work my way up to slightly more weighted. I'm doing four sets of 12 with a three second eccentric. So what that means is on the way down, you're gonna count one, two, three, and then go back up to the top. So you're just taking a little bit more time on the downward motion before popping straight back up. So I did have a little bit of uncomfortable feeling, a little bit of pulling, a little bit of stretching. Um, it's not to the point where it's too painful to continue, but it was uncomfortable. So the pulling that I feel is straight up from my kneecap to about the center of my thigh. Usually when I'm doing things like lunges or anything weighted uh, where I hold the weights on my side, I have a lot of pain on the interior part of my kneecap as well as my quad. y'all we are back from the surgeon i will go ahead and post my x-ray photos up here in the corner so that way you can see i do have a little bit of arthritis starting and i'll go ahead and circle that for you as well as the hardware that is still in my leg so if you haven't seen my last video uh referencing exactly why that hardware is still there i'll go ahead and link that uh above so go ahead and check that out if you are curious as to why there is still hardware in my leg and you can see that in the x-ray so what the surgeon is assuming is happening is a lot of the medial quad pain that I'm having, so that is the inside of my thigh closest to my knee. The pain that I'm having in that area is probably due to the arthritis that has started in my knee. Um, the arthritis is fairly new from the last x-ray I had, which was six weeks ago. So within the last six weeks, I've developed some arthritis, which is probably what's causing the medial quad uh, pain. So the other question that I wanted to ask the surgeon was about the pulling sensation that I have through the kneecap into my shin and then up my quad. Um, it wasn't painful by any means, but it was extremely uncomfortable and it almost felt like somebody was pulling my bone out, if that makes sense. It's like somebody had a vice grip around the bone and was trying to yank it out, but it wasn't going anywhere. So that's kind of what I mean when I say the pulling <laughs> sensation that I was feeling. When I mentioned it to the surgeon, he didn't have an exact answer for me other than the fact that I no longer have an ACL on my knee, which could be putting a lot of pressure on the inside of that kneecap and making it feel like uh, it is getting pulled in either direction. What, every time I go in for my checkup, every six weeks I get an x-ray to see how things are healing, and they are healing well. The arthritis is fairly new, like I mentioned, so we're just going to see how it goes and play it by ear. I am really excited to start this new journey into bodybuilding, or back into bodybuilding, I should say, because I have been there before, and I've taken an extremely long hiatus. It's been five years, six years, so I am excited to kind of ease back into it, see if I can get the size back in my bad leg to match my good leg, and build some substantial muscle. That's really the goal here. Um, when I was in bodybuilding before, I was in bikini, and then I wanted to move up into figure, and then the whole knee situation happened, and it kind of put my plans on hold. So I'm excited to move forward and see if we can actually progress in the right direction, and I'm excited to have you guys along for the journey. So stick around. I will give you guys updates as things progress with my knee, as well as my bodybuilding journey from here. So until next time guys, don't forget to tap that subscription button because I'd love to have you stick around, as well as give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.